Good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher, how are I? Uh, I am fine, and you? I'm fine, ready for action. Welcome. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's begin. Thank you for being early. Thank you for being very punctual. Okay. <clears throat> um, to begin, I begin um, early. I'm going to explain a little bit why this class. Why is the class like this? <clears throat> Some people think um, we repeat uh, the same things again and again, and every day we do the same chunks. Maybe not the same activities, but in the same uh, steps. Okay, there is a reason for this. Uh, sometimes people say, uh, do it in a different way, but check this out. This methodology is the one that InsaForp has asked for us to use. This is the one that we call task approach. It's originally from the United States. In the United States, they use it for adult uh, learning. They use it in public schools. And uh, also uh, it is evaluated with an exam that is called CASAS. Okay, so uh, the state university uh, and state colleges teach using this uh, task approach. And this task uh, approach is defined as in these different areas, the warm up, pre-task, task preparation, task and post-task. These are the elements that this approach has. And um, <clears throat> well, to tell you the truth, this is what I have been asked to do. So I try to do it the best way possible. And I do it for you because I want you to learn, okay? However, sometimes I would like to add variety to the content, but no audios or videos are permitted. We have no permission to use audios and videos. If not, YouTube blocks the videos. So uh, you remember that after class, this video has to go to YouTube. If I use uh, third party materials, for example, and they detect them in the video, the video is not accepted on YouTube. It's blocked <clears throat> for that reason audios and videos are not allowed and no third party material is permitted. And that is unfortunate because of course, if we had that chance, we had other things to include, okay? But if you want, you can see those things uh, out of the class. You can watch YouTube video game, I mean, video games, YouTube videos or other materials to help you practice the things that we don't practice in class. Okay, now the topics that we develop in the class are given to me. They give me the topics, but they are not developed. They give me, this is the topic that we have to study. And so I have to investigate, get the information, prepare the class and share the information with you. Uh, I try to simplify it because I know that you are not marketing, marketers or business people, and probably you are not very interested in that. However, uh, these are the topics, and I have to teach those topics, right? Uh, and these topics are based on adult learning. So it means that uh, the processes are serious. Then about the class, group practice is open for, for you to express yourself freely. 
sometimes it is more difficult for you to express in the main group because there isn't time. Besides, in the small groups, you have more opportunities to interact with your partners. And I think that you feel more comfortable speaking to a small group to a bigger, than to a bigger group. For that reason is that you go to practice in small groups. Now, you will feel more engaged and active if you participate in class. The more you participate in class, you will feel better in the class. But if you are only listening and you are passive and you don't participate, you will feel bored. So my invitation is to ask, to, uh, let's say, for you to practice with your partners, to get involved in the class so that you don't feel that the class is boring and that you are not learning anything. So uh, I invite you, try to practice a bit more, join the class, read about the topic so that you know what we are talking about, and then practice with your partners and you will feel that the class is not boring. The class may be boring if I don't know what to say and I keep quiet. If everybody is quiet and nobody participates because nobody knows what to say, then yes, the class can be boring. But if you know what to say and you are practicing actively, you will not feel that way, okay? Let's see. <clears throat> That is just an introduction and an invitation for you to practice, okay? And ask questions. Everything I do, I do it for you. And uh, I never do anything to try to hurt you, quite on the contrary. It is a privilege for me to help you and guide you through this process. Uh, I understand that it's difficult and sometimes there are some things that we don't understand. So don't be afraid. Feel free, okay? Every time that you ask, I try to answer. Why? Because, I mean, it's number one is my obligation, but it's not only an obligation, it's a pleasure to do it too. Okay, um, tonight's class, today is February the 8th, and this is class 11, and we're going to be working on components of the place and promotion strategies, okay? Welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. They asked me to show you the objectives too, okay? Where these things come from. This is the specific objective. And Tonight's class, to recognize the components of the place and promotion of a national product, okay? This is what we're going to be working on. This is the agenda for tonight. Okay, my friends, before we go to, let's see who is here and who isn't here yet. Ana Patricia Linares. Present. Welcome on board. Number two, Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. Excellent. Welcome on board. Ana Selmi Chavez. Not yet. Okay. Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Present. Excellent. Welcome on board. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present, teacher. Welcome on board. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present teacher. Okay, welcome on board, my friend. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Okay, welcome on board. Eh, Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome on board, my friend. Jose Carlos Argueta. Okay. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. Present. Welcome on board, my friend. Thank you. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Present, teacher. Welcome on board. Yes. 
Nelson Edgardo Sánchez. Not yet. Okay. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Welcome on board. <coughs> welcome on board. Osmin Baires. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Present. Okay. Present. You're welcome, you're Don Osmin. Welcome on board. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, señorita. Welcome on board. Rafael Ernesto González. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Teacher. Good evening. Present. In. Welcome on board, Rosita. Welcome Thanks. on board. Thanks. Not yet. Okay. Jan C. Hernandez. Present. Present. Welcome on board, my friend. Flor Carvalho. Yes. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Then Marvin Alexandria. Okay. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Present teacher. Excellent, my friend. Welcome on board. Susana Carolina Hernandez. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Welcome on board. Thank you. Welcome. Dani Anthony Següenza. Okay, no. Alberto Fuentes. Present here. Hello, Dani. Hello. Welcome on board. Excellent. Hello. Hello, Richard. Good evening. Hello. 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 Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present here. Ricardo. <laughs> Yes. Hernandez. Ignacio Franco. Okay. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Welcome on board. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Nelson Sánchez. Ah, Nelson Sánchez. Hello, Nelson. Welcome on board. Hey, good Present evening, teacher. Anna, sell me. Sell me, all right. I'm sorry, Jose Carlos. No problem. Jose Carlos, teacher, I don't listen my name. Ah, Jose Carlos. Okay, welcome aboard. I'll put you here, present. Nelson, too. Okay. Okay. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Now you. Okay. Let's be. Okay, <clears throat> you are very important in the group. So uh, your contributions and everything that you say in class makes the class better, okay? So if you have something to say, say it, don't be shy. Remember that uh, the idea is that you participate because the one that has to speak is you, not me. I first speak a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. That's not important. The important thing is that you speak a lot. Okay, let's begin by looking at this uh, picture and we're going to be finding differences. Okay, let me see where I place this thing. Okay, I'm going to show you the picture like this. I think it should be enough. Look at the pictures. Can you spot the differences? Yes, yes. the number of the apples. Ah, the number of apples. How many apples? One. One? Window. The window, right? The window. shape. The reflection in the window. Okay. Yes. Our reflection. Let, let me mark them. Yes. Color. Uh, it's it's how much my apple. <laughs> Okay, so one of these is the reflection. The flower. The flower. The flower. The, is flower. the smile. The smile. Is... Polita. 
tail or that tail. The pig tail. The pig tail. Uh -huh. So here the tail is missing. Uh, here the flower is missing. Here the reflection. And the mouth you said, right? The mouth the is different. What else is different? The smile. I like it. The smile is different. The apple. The apple here, right, is missing too. The what? colors. The color of the pants. The color of the color of the straps here. Uh -huh. the strap here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The color of the straps is different. Uh -huh. So only one is missing. It's all, it's seven. Sorry? It's finished. It's seven. <laughs> yes, but I want to throw in one extra. Yes, seven. <laughs> you finish, right? But yeah. One more. Okay. Two, we have four and we have seven. Uh -huh. But there is one more that you haven't seen. The size of the window. Okay. The size of the window could be the same, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, over here, look. The hip there. There is another. Here. Okay. This one is looks like this hill is going up. Ah, uh, like, like a curve. Uh -huh, but there is another hill. Up. Mm -hmm. That would be the difference. The other difference. Okay, excellent. You did a good job. Now let's move on. Teacher, this presentation not sent in the group. Yes, I sent it to the group. No, it repeats a number 10. Uh, really? Yes. I sent it repeatedly. Yes, and now. Thank you, Nelson. I'm going to check and I'm going to send it right now. Okay? Thank you for telling me. Possible. My telephone is charging right now, so. But it has enough charge. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry about, about this, uh, actually. Just picked it up. And I thought that I had sent the right one. Thank you for telling me. Okay. You're right. It's number 10, one that I sent twice. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me see. Yes, it's the only one. It's the only one. I sent the other one, but I don't know where I sent it. Maybe I sent it to the wrong group again <laughs> for a change. All right. No problem. Thank you, Nelson. I really appreciate it. You're very kind. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Let's see. These are in a different place here. Uh huh. Okay. Now there you have. Sorry, that is true. I had sent the wrong. Okay. Well, let's continue. My friend. Let's continue. 
Let's see, we're going to begin by establishing a relationship between the following pairs. Each are the bar is, ah, yes, okay. Let's see, my friend. How do you establish a connection between gasoline and business? What does gasoline affect in business? Volunteers? Yeah. In all affect because uh, the logistic require transportation of materials or the other, the other goods that necessary for the production, for the service. In general, the, the gasoline the, is, um, has a direct effect in the price of the service and the goods. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Yes, Rosita. Okay, what what to to? Would you please repeat? Of the cost. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. On the cost. It has a direct impact on the, the cost. Aha. Uh -huh. For transportation people. Trans yes. Aha, uh -huh, you trans. I mean, it, it has also spend money on transporting people right, to different places. How do you say rendimiento? Uh, if you're talking about, uh, let's say, like, for example, how many gallons per liter? Yeah, or distance. How do you say that? Oh, the distance. Okay. Yes. Say, like, um, if you want to put it like uh, 10 miles per gallon or 20 miles to the gallon, this is the expenditure, 20, 20 gallons to the mile. Like you was 20 gallons per mile, the expenditure. Okay. In the expenditure. Okay. Yes. Gasoline has to do with um, with business because it depends on the expenditure of gas that the cost is affected. Okay. Rosita wanted to say something. What do you want to say? <laughs> I was, I was saying that the gasoline in, in business yeah, affects the, the chain supply of the product. The cost, the price. Uh, I don't know. But the, the, the impact, the, the, the big impact or the biggest impact is in the, in the price of the product. Okay. What if you see it from another perspective, like for example, if gasoline is very expensive, workers don't go to work, all the business activity fires. What can you say about that? Okay, what can you say about this? If workers don't have enough money to go to work because the salary is very low and they have enough money to go for one week, but the next week they don't have money and so they are ab absent from work a lot because they don't have for transportation, how does that affect the business? And some, sometimes maybe the production, stop the production. Mm -hmm. The production. Mm -hmm. 
there are many, there are, there are, uh, there isn't enough uh, personnel at the company to make the operation. Uh, to operate uh, the machines. To operate, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay. That's another way it can affect it, right? Okay. Thank you very much. What about transportation and prices? How is transportation and prices related? It's the same practically, but see it from a different uh, perspective. Don Osmin, what do you think? How does transportation affect prices? Eh, the microphone. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me. Okay. Yes, I I, I seen uh, affect the, the the transportation in in price in price of product. Aha. Uh -huh. In the price of the product, how how do you think it affects? Because the product is more expensive. Uh -huh, it's more expensive uh, if it's moved longer distances. Exactly. The product For is the distance. Uh -huh. If you buy the product in the locality where it is produced, it's not so expensive. But if you buy it ooh, miles away from the factory, it's more expensive. Okay. Exactly. Depends. Depends. The situation. It depends on the situation. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. excellent. What about the location of competitor store versus the location of your store? If they are very near or if they are very far, how does that affect your sales? How does that affect your sales? If, you're, if the competitor store is near or the competitor store is far? For example, sometimes I look something and I and the first that I look is the place. If it's near for me, I say, oh, okay, it's near, but it's far, okay, forget it, it's too far. Mm -hmm. I need I need I need some that is that isn't near. Okay. But if I have car, it doesn't matter. But sometimes uh, maybe having the my store and the competitors near, um, maybe you look at and you say, um, I can see how is the local, how is the Korea, the mesh. And some people look that, that that's things. And it could, it could be a disadvantage for your, for your store. Uh -huh, that's true. Yes. So you wanted to say something? Okay. How does the location of the competitor store affect your store, affect your sales? Okay. What happens, let's say, if there are two stores that are one next to the other and they sell the same product? First you time. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, you go where it is more, more cheaper. Uh, you, you can check the prices, right? You just enter, check the prices, and quickly go to the other store and check the prices too. You need to have an aggressive promotion. To our prices. <laughs> exactly. There are, uh, there are war prices. There are war prices there. Yes, that's true. That can be an that can be a situation. Uh-huh. 
Yes. Okay. Now the next one, number four, quality versus price. Quality versus price. Uh, how, uh, what do people see first? Quality or the price? Okay, and what I'm talking about here is if it's if it has good quality, it's more expensive or cheaper? More expensive. More expensive. More expensive. It's more expensive. And uh, how does it affect the perception of the people? It's more expensive, the good quality. Yes, the good quality is more expensive. Uh huh. You know, the people I think, the depending on country or origin. Yeah, uh, for example, Chinese, no, it's, it's, it's the bad quality, the different product, or maybe in Germany or Spain, USA. I, I, the best quality. Uh -huh. It depends where the product comes from, such is the quality. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, I had a um, a teacher, a French teacher, who used to, uh, let's say, buy clothes. Okay, uh, let's say he said that he bought clothes twice a year, and he only bought very expensive clothes because he said that it lasted longer. He said it's better to be well-dressed all the time, even if it's a picture, than to be poorly dressed with different clothes every day. What, what do you believe about that? Uh, if, for example, there is a shirt that costs $10 and you buy five shirts, or do you buy a shirt that is more elegant, is more expensive and costs $50? Opinions? Teacher. Yes, Don Ignacio. In, in my opinion, the common person prefer the price about the quality. And in El Salvador, Maybe the common person, we are uh, too much. Uh -huh. So, so depending of the the product. The, yes. If 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 I need a quality, I I buy. I need to to pay more. To buy, pay more. Yeah. Okay. But. But the common person. Say the average person. The average yeah. person. Uh -huh. The average, yeah, the average person. The average pref pref prefer the, the, the price and quality. to the quality. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I agree with you. Definitely. I agree with you. Okay. Let's see. You see a pupusa that costs one dollar, very good quality, but on the corner there are four pupusas for one dollar. The quality is not the same, but four pupusas better than one. <laughs> Even in different size. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Other people's opinions about quality over price or things related. I think the well in my case I can pay mm -hmm. a quality a good quality. I want to, but I don't can I don't can pay that. Ah, and, and then you decide price over quality. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yes. Sometimes that's what we have to do. We have no option. Uh huh. That is true. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Now number five. Competition and prices. How does competition affect prices? Okay, the meaning is this. There are two, there are three stores near, they sell the same products. Okay, 
but there are people shouting in front of each store, come to my store, come to my store, I will give you these prices. And the other person says, no, here is better because the quality is better and the prices are much better. Here, come here. So how does competition affect prices? Sometimes the competition affects, affect the prices because for example, in, in, in nowadays, the, the gas station have a different price. For uh -huh. example, near, near in my home, the gas station, I consider it is very cheaper for other, other gas station. But uh -huh. uh, in my, I think it's good because it's the price uh, genera, I don't know, Gen make uh, uh, Gen or the, or, or, or the, the price general uh, 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 opportunity. Uh -huh. You you can you can select the the place when you buy the 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 product. Yeah, that's true. So if prices are right, you go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have my favorite place where I buy gasoline too. There is a specific place. Okay. All right. What else can you say about competition and prices? I don't know how do you say in English. Um, no tienes las mismas ganancias. Oh, you, you don't say in the same profits. You don't have the ganancias. same profits. Profit is ganancias. Ganancias, yeah, profits. Mm -hmm. You don't have the same profits. Okay, is competition beneficial to the customers? or to the businesses? To the, to the customers. To the customers. In, in the my opinion, both, teacher. Uh -huh. Could you please explain that position? Yeah, because uh, with the competition, um, when a specific sector, there are competition, uh, the company required to be better or improve. Improve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the price? Is the effect of the competition because required to, to have the specific share market, for example, and maintain a specific uh, participation in the market. Mm -hmm. And the competition is important in the sector for the companies, too, okay. in my opinion. Excellent. No, that's that's very good. Yeah, and it's understandable. Okay, uh, Adriana, can you explain your position? Mm, general, uh, the competition uh, may the level the product, the market, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm, because. Uh, or so, uh, the, um, um, empresas, companies, 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 uh -huh, the companies, uh, and the level, the price. Yes, the uh -huh. price, right? Or uh, let's say, well, if if the price is too high, they lower. Uh, teacher, competition. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes, don't you not? In in for example, in in our company, uh, we we have a, a contract provider, a Texaco company. Okay. We, we, when when we speak about the gas, you know, and the competition at the price is a small price. Because the Texaco company with our company have a is a contract provider. Yeah. Have a deal. Uh -huh. have a, yeah. You have a deal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lourdes, do you want to finish your your explanation that, that you were making about how customers are benefited by the competition? Or by competition? In my case, I, I, oh, 
my opinion my opinion is is better for the customers because if uh, if a lot of companies in the market we have a uh, low prices for example or um, the customer uh, can exigir demand can demand uh, can demand uh, more quality more uh, different options to the companies and in that case is benefit for the customers because if in the market uh, only one enterprise we don't have a lot of options for example or we don't have a, a high quality or a low prices okay. excellent i agree with you yes so competition regulates the prices okay nice let's move on Okay, transportation. Transportation. You say, teacher, in the topic it said, place and promotion. Yes, place is where you sell the merchandise. But transportation is important regarding to place. So check over here. Transportation has always played an important role in human development. For example, People make use of public transportation to go to work or school. This is essential to economy because people who work constitute the engine that moves the wheel of development and services everywhere. Just think for a moment, if all the people in our country could not get to their jobs for any given reason, every economic activity would stop. This in turn means that nothing is produced, nothing is sold, nothing is distributed and nothing is bought. Transportation of workers to their jobs is crucial for all economic activity. Another factor for transportation or for which transportation is vital is shipping products, whether it is locally or at an internal uh, level or at internal levels. It helps move products from suppliers to customers Buying and selling is the essence of economic activity, but if it simply cannot be done without the use of efficient transportation, products are moved from factories to stores using huge trucks, then from stores to retailers by means of small trucks until they get their final destination, customers. Okay, this is illustrated by this. First, they come from the agencies, from the factories, etc., by truck. And then this is sometimes if it comes from international companies, it comes, they come by boat. Because by plane, uh, sometimes it can be more expensive, it can be faster, but it can be, you can have to pay more taxes, for example. Okay. By plane is another option, right? And uh, in places that are near, helicopter. By helicopter, some things are transported. But normally from a store to a customer's house by pickup truck or a small truck takes these products to their homes. In the, in the rural areas, people use different means of transportation and they use wagons so they do that by wagon okay <clears throat> now this is to illustrate illustrate transportation so these are the things that you're going to discuss once you have reread this passage so let's go to the groups and let's practice now okay let's see We are 27. <clears throat> the groups, the groups are beginning.
pages 11 and 12. Okay, let me see. Who, who has the, the picture in? Because I have the picture, but I can't to share with you because it's I you have permissions, my friend. Now you have permissions to share. Yes. Teacher. You have you have function. They share the the screen. I know activity. Try. Ah. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No problem. My pleasure. <laughs> Okay. okay. Read the paragraphs. Yes, or or or. Hi, did you? Hello, my friend. You may read the paragraph and discuss the questions. Yeah. So I saying the the material. Okay. Just a moment, just a moment. is located or at internal level. It helps move product from supplier to customer. Buying and, buying and selling is the essence of economic activity, but it's simple, simply cannot be done without... Simply? Simply, ah. But Sim it simply cannot be done without the use of efficient transportation. Products are moved from factories is to store using our trucks. Then from stores to retailers by means of small trucks until they get their final destination customers. Okay. Good job. Only look at the words huge. I'm sorry. Huge, huge trucks in this second or the last. Huge trucks and huge. Truck. Huge, huge, uh, yeah, huge, huge truck. Huge and efficient, efficient. Efficient, uh, yeah, efficient. 
efficient. Okay, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, my friend. Okay, discuss these sentences. Are they true or with everyone? Everywhere. Just think for a moment if all the people in our country could not get to their job for any given reason. Every economic activity will stop. This in there means that nothing is product, productive, nothing is sold, nothing is distribu distributed, distributed uh, and nothing is bought. Transportation of workers to their job is crucial for all economic activity. Another factor for which transportation is vital is shipping products, whether it is location or at internal level, it helps more products from to price to cost. Buying and selling is the essence of the economic activity, activity but it's simple cannot be done without the, the use of efficient transportation. Products are more from factory to store using huge trunks, trucks, and then from a store to realer retailer by means of a small truck until they get their final destination customer. Okay, thank you. Now we have some questions about this reel. Mm -hmm. Let me let me do this more small. Okay, I think that we can we can see. Okay, transportation is crucial in the economic activity. Is true or is false? Okay, for me, it's true. Yes. <laughs> yes, because in the reading it says that. Uh, um, transportation has played an important role in the human development. Okay, public transportation has nothing to do with the economic activity. No. It's true or false? False. false. It's a, a delinquent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but my my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, but that, according that, to the that, that, yeah. it's, a <laughs> it's very dangerous for the people. Chip. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Charles. Mm -hmm. um, true. It's true. Number five. It's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Claro. It's more. Number three. Gas of of course expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you say flete? In English. Mm. Okay, that would be fleet. Fleet. Fleet or fleet. Ship. Okay. The ship, the shipping. 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 And shipping, yes. S H I P P yes, because the other one is not is for other things, but shipping. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, okay, more shipping and more taxes too. Okay, number five, we think it's true. Number six, international cargo is brought in by ship. Okay. How do you say? Yeah, I think it's true. Yes. But... Yeah, because everything is in the in the price, the product. Then you pay all that. 
you agree it's true? Can you return the text and some please? Yes, in the in this case, the transportation is crucial in the economy activity. Then our answer is true. Yes, it's true. Okay, the public transportation has nothing to do with the economy activity. Is false. Yes, false. Yes. In the number three, if nobody goes to work, the world economy paralyzes. If nobody. Yes, because if nobody got to work, uh, we can't produce, we can give to the client services, for example, uh, uh, internet service or um, produce uh, other products, um, yeah. alimentos, mm -hmm. se dice? Food? Food. Food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or, or for example, uh, who move the economy? Mm -hmm. People. <laughs> people. Yeah. Without people, not economy. Yeah. Yeah. During the pandemic, in the first years, in the first years, <laughs> uh, in the is it right, teacher? Majority. The majority. The majority. The almost. The majority. Almost. The majority, you can say. Yes, the majority. Um, we are working with the method. Of, we, we are working in home office. But um, always we need. Uh, we need the service, we need the food, and it's important the, the other people, um, how do you say, it, it was necessary to, to be in, in the facilities, of the industry, the supermarket, because it's necessary. It was it was necessary for the economy not paralyzed, but it was impact, negative impact, but not paralyzed. In my opinion, the number three is true. <laughs> yeah. It's true. And number four, transportation plays an important role in the this in the distribution of product? It's true. It's true. Oh. And the number five, it can be concluded that the farther from the factory the product is shipped, the more expensive it will be. Farther. Más lejos, further. Entre más lejos. Yes, it's true. It's true. Yes, mm -hmm. it's true because when when the companies have a raw material material or product that China is more expensive that a transportation of Brazilian or yeah. United States uh, go to El Salvador. Oh, Asia, in the case. Oh, Asia, yes. um, teacher, how do you say in English fletes? Is fletes. Fletes could be shipping. Ah, shipping. You're talking ah. about uh, the things that you send. 
but the fleet, you use fleet if you're talking about uh, transportation from continent to continent or, or, or something like that, fleet. But if shipping, okay. ship you're talking about uh, the road. shipping and handling is the, when they deliver the fleet, is shipping. Shipping. With the, with, with the pandemic, the shipping uh, become more expensive because mm -hmm. don't have complete the service. I remember that uh, the shipping was for turn because do, because don't have in the pandemic don't have a person a people work in a port in a port port puertos y port teacher yes gate at the gate. Okay. At the gate. gate. Okay, at the gate. It was a big problem because all cheaper, cheap, cheaper was a stop for mm -hmm. moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, now, it, now the problem is all product has a very expensive for this reason. Yeah. Yes. I agree. And the number six, international cargo teacher. Cargo is brought in by ship. Mm -hmm. Cargo. Yes, cargo, international cargo. cargo. Cargo is the same as cargamento in Spanish. In English, they use ah, okay. cargo. Uh -huh, cargo. It's Inter true. International cargo by boat is more ship than by plane. But the yeah. difference is the time of go yeah. at her, uh, their destination. Yeah. In the number six is refer to all international cargo is brought in the ship. Not necessarily, this is partial. Yes, it's partial. In this case, it's true. Because the other one is brought by plane. Mm -hmm. For example, you have the Hercule, Hercules type of airplane that takes huge cargo, huge cargo to different places. Yeah. Yeah. The number seven local products are moved by truck? For sure. me, it depends. Yeah, it depends. Because uh, it's a short distance for mm -hmm. the factory, uh, mm -hmm. we can move by truck. But if, for example, is in the United States, we can't translate by truck from uh, Los Angeles uh, to Miami, for example. Mm -hmm. We need to use by plane. Uh -huh. yeah. There are some liners too that take that, but you're right, by small truck, no. And here, mm -hmm. by bicycle, by motorcycle. <laughs> bicycle, yeah. Okay.
Okay, now let's see, let's go and see who is present and who is absent. <clears throat> Ada Patricia Linares. Present. Excelente. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. Excelente. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Excelente. Michelle Guevara. Present. Excelente. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present teacher. Excelente. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present teacher. Excelente. My friend. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Okay, great. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Great, that's nice. Beatriz Iraeta. Present. Excellent. <laughs> Melanie Guevara. Present teacher. Excellent. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez. Present. Excellent. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Okay, Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Excellent. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Nice. Rafael Ernesto González. Okay. <clears throat> Rosa Elena Salgado. Present teacher. Excellent. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Saura Lopez. Present. Okay, great. Flor de Maria Carvalho. Present. Yes, that's nice. Mark Alexander Bonilla. Okay, René Osvaldo Bonilla. Present teacher. Excellent. Carolina Hernandez. Danny Anthony Sigüenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Yes, teacher, present. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. José Ignacio Franco. Present, teacher, twice, please. Yeah, excellent. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present, teacher. Okay, that's very nice. Now, my friends, let's continue. I can hear my name. Uh, yeah, but don't worry. Sorry? You say Carolina and not Susana. I said uh, Susana Carolina Hernandez. Okay, it's me. Okay, yes. Don't worry, you are present. Don't worry. You are present. Only I don't have present Gladys Mendez. She didn't come today. Well, <clears throat> okay, my friends, let's continue. In ones. Okay, we'll have like, um, Don, Don Ignacio, how are products transported from the factory to the stores? Uh, maybe the small product or food, for example. Um, yes. What type of transportation? Or, ah, what? sorry, sorry, sorry. By by truck, by truck. By truck, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see. How does distance? By truck, by truck. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's right. Thanks. Ricardo, how does distance make shipping different? Uh, it's a 
se eh, todos distancing marking shipping different. Ajá, en, vamos. Para... <coughs> okay. Is a is a difference in a medicant is a material eh, uh, for example como car. Okay, let me tell yes. you this. Ricardo, imagine yes. that you say if the the object or the product is shipped far or the product is shipped near, how does the distance affect the price the price of shipping or the price of the ah product? okay y a costos mm -hmm. is a fretes yes shipping is a mm, yeah, but <clears throat> how does it affect? Is it more expensive, yes. cheaper? How? It's more expensive, expensive, right? Yes. Expensive. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so this affects shipping uh, depending on the distance. Okay, if it's a long distance, it's more expensive. A shorter yes. distance will be cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Number three, this is for the person who wants to answer it. Which shipping method is more efficient? The, I think the plane. <laughs> the direct. Uh -huh. the, the I think the plane. By plane, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, less, less fuel, long, longer distances. Uh huh. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, number four. Which one is the most common when products are shipped in large numbers and from another continent? Okay, let's see. Plane. Which is the most common? Let's propane. Plane, ship, plane and boards. Truck. Ah. Uh, yes. And board. By ship. By ship. By yeah. ship. By ship is the most common way. Yeah. Which one is the most common on land? The trucks. The trucks. Mm -hmm. The truck. By truck. Uh -huh, by trucks. What means of transportation is used when the product is moved only short distances and in small numbers? By truck also. Truck. Trucks, cars. By by Uber, by Uber, of course. Yes, Uber. 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 Of course. What companies ship ship in large number of products? DHL, FedEx. Yeah. How do they bring it? Because shipping is for any transportation. Yes, the ways. It's funny that it says shipping, but it can be by plane, it can be by truck, it can be by ship. Uh huh. Yeah. So because this is the the meaning is send, okay. Ship shipping. Okay, so in this case would be what companies? DHL? FedEx. FedEx. With shipping. Uh -huh. DHL. DHL. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> companies of petroleum? Um, yeah. By board? Uh huh. Exactly, by boat. They bring large quantities of petroleum. Uh -huh. That's true. Okay. 
let's see, let's read these definitions. We're going to get to uh, and promotion. One volunteer to read a place. Who would like to read place? Me. Okay. Me. Okay, I heard two me's. Let me see. Okay, let us do one thing. One of the two is going to read place. The other one is going to read promotion. Okay, thank you. Begin with place. Okay, refer place <laughs> refer place refers to where and how people buy your product. So example of place consumer can buy products and service include online. Be a web browser through a smartphone app, retail location through trade show or events through marketplace channel like Amazon, Amazon or, or Walmart, Walmart. Or, or Walmart or through a sales profession. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, continue. Thank you very much. So we have place, we're talking about where you buy the product. Some, even some places can be in the cloud, like people say, right? So they are not really physical. Like for example, Amazon, there is a company that is Amazon and it has a headquarters, but there is another one that is uh, online. So Walmart, if we have retail locations, smartphone apps, okay, or web browser, like you go, look, click, and you buy. Okay. Now, someone to read promotion? Me. Yes. Yes. Promotion means expanding information about a product, service, or use. In use. Or issue. Mm -hmm. Or issue. Promotion as part of marketing, that means a product information about a product, product line, brand or company. Promotion includes publicity and public knowledge. Yes. Advertising. Advertising, okay. Advertising. Advertising. Uh -huh. Advertising. Okay, Thank you very much. Yes. Over here, we talk about uh, spreading information. Spreading information is uh, distributing information wherever is possible. Okay, the, because the purpose is to uh, get people aware, people be conscious of the products, okay? So this would be the, the idea, okay? So promotion is part of publicity, public relations and advertising, okay. Similar to this, we have the other two, product placement versus promotion. Who wants to read product placement? Me, teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. Product placement, also now is embodied marketing. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a marketing technique or reference to a specific brand or products are incorporated into another work, such a film or television program with a specific promotional intent. Okay, thank you, Don Smith. Um, yeah. When you talk about product placement, maybe you have seen some movies that um, obviously are promoting certain products like Nike, Adidas, or other products because you see the, the people that appear the most in the movie or the, the stars of the movie are wearing these brands and they are seen clearly. Okay, so what are they doing? Uh, that is a certain type of product placement, okay? They are opening a market or they are dis, 
uh, publicizing their brand. So that is product placement happens on television too, when there are some anchors presenting programs and they are wearing uh, shirts uh, promoting different brands, okay? That is product placement. That's why it says that this happens in films, TV programs, or other types of promotion. Who like to read promotion? Promotion refer to inter set of activities which communicate the product, brand, or service of to the, the, the user. The idea is to make people work attract and induce to buy the product in prefers preferences over the others something dis discuss or, or offer are given pro promotional sta staging strategy 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 exactly thank you yes over here the idea is to make people conscious aware aware means conscious okay to attract the people into buying the product now, the other one, like Rene was saying, uh, there are other others with discounts or offers. Discounts, like they tell you 30% off, 30% off, or sometimes they do re rebates. Rebates are discounts that people get when they take a certain number of products. For example, you say, if you buy two, you're going to get it at this price. But if you take only one at this price, so that can be a, a rebate, okay? We're going to see that in a moment. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> what's the process of moving products from the factory to the customer? The, what's the process of moving products from the factory to the customer's cold? Factory plus now distribution. No, could be distribution. Yes, shipping, shipping. or logistic is part of the logistic mm -hmm. okay. of moving products from the factory to the customer. Could be okay, but normally they move it from the factory to the store and from the store to the other one. Okay, why is shipping important, Lourdes? Lourdes? Mm. Because uh, move the products is very necessary for the companies. Uh, like a, a delivery, for example, if the enterprise Need, um, need to carry a, a specific product to any customer needs shipping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay, how does this affect the product? We already mentioned it. We say, but how does transportation affect pr the price of the product? Yeah. How? Yes. Affect in the final price for a customer. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. And who pays for the transportation? The customer. The enterprise. Customer. Oh. Customers. Okay. How can we keep the prices low? Prices of transportation low. What is your demand? Okay. Normally, what they do is they, uh, some companies associate with transportation companies. They get a deal and uh, they, they are going to transport the merchandise to the factories. They will provide the drivers, they will pro provide the vehicles, and they, all the, uh, let's say, everything is going to be managed by the company that is providing transportation. 
So. Like consolidar. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Only that, um, yeah, it's more like a deal that they have. So where these people uh, give the transportation of the products. And of course, the, the person that is uh, getting the transportation or the company that, that is getting the transportation pays less, but uh, the contract is longer. The longer the contract, okay, the lower the rate that they have to pay. So that's how they keep transportation lower. Now, what's product placement? According to what we were reading, what is product placement? When someone or somebody is promoting a, a brand at the TV, at the, in a film. In a film, right, in a TV series. Mm -hmm. Yes. Marketing introduction to the future or others, and you see the boy with uh, uh, what was what type of shoes was he wearing? Nike, Nike, Nike. Uh -huh. yeah, yes, In back to the future. Yes, <laughs> all right, let's move on. We have now look at this businessman. Why do you think this businessman is? crying. Why is he crying? Jora. Mm -hmm. He's crying. Why? Because we lo uh, he lost a lot of money. Because he, he lost a lot of money. He huh? lost a huge uh, business. <laughs> uh, he lost a huge business. Maybe uh, he didn't um, strike a good deal and he lost a lot of money. That's why the poor guy is dying, is crying, okay? What do other uh, businessmen do? Some cry, but others, what do they do? Don't give up and continue. They <laughs> continue yeah. and get angry and they get it <gasps> workers. The poor workers are the ones that suffer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue, my friends. Okay. This is a reading. Okay. But before I would like you to, before we get to this reading, I would like you to get to these strategies. I'm going to read it for you. And this is what you're going to be doing. Matching the strategies and the definitions or the meanings. This is what you're going to be doing in the group. Okay. I'm going to read this one for you. We're going to understand it. It says, a promotion strategy is defined by the plan and tactics you implement in your marketing plan to increase your product or service demand. Promotional strategies play a vital role in the marketing mix, that is product, price, placement, and promotion. And they revolve around a target audience. Who is the target audience? The, the people that you are selling to, okay? And you check what their interests are, budget, okay? Or how much you're willing to invest in promotion, plan of action, or what strategy you are adopting to reach your objectives and make sales. The promotion strategy is part of a bigger picture, which is the marketing, the marketing strategy. Because the marketing strategy's definition refers to the stra strategic planning and long-term actions of any organization with the purpose of achieving defined goals. These strategies can be inbound, mean pool marketing, okay, or outbound, push marketing. So we're, I'm going to define these ones after the exercise that you're going to do. What is inbound market and what is outbound marketing? But right now, you're going to work together and you're going to match the strategies, content marketing, social media marketing, email marketing, referral marketing, event sponsoring, influencer marketing, promotions, offering refunds, in customer loyalty marketing. Okay, content marketing has to do with the explanation of the 
products that you are selling and why they are good and the descriptions and everything. Okay, social media. Okay, it, the name says it, Facebook, Twitter, etc. where you sell it. So this is what you're going to be matching, this page and this page. Okay, let's see. If I tell you more, I'm going to give you the answer. So let's go to the group and match. Then we come back, come back out. Hi. Hi. No. Hey. Is the next one. The next one, uh -huh. this one match with this, the numbers and the letters. These are the strategies. You have to match them with the meanings. Okay, match number one, content marketing. Scroll down, please, Danny. A target audience, or who you are selling to and what their interests are, budget, or how much you are willing to invest in promotion plan of action or what strategy you are adopting to reach your objective and max sales nice the promotion strategy is part of the bigger picture which is in the marketing strategy the marketing strategy definition refers to the strategic planning and long-term action of any organization with the purpose of achieving defined goals. These strategies can be involved pool marketing or outbound push marketing. Nice that you read it. Only that all, all you had to do is match from. Yeah. And the, and the definitions. Ah, okay. Definition, but that's okay. No problem. Okay. Um, okay. Promotion strategies. Okay. First, con. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, you say Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They are age. When? For example, um, for example, create customer loyalty programs and patronage rewards to increase customer satisfaction. I think that is customer loyalty programs. Number nine is number nine is letter C. I think. It's a content marketing. It's a recommendation for the primera. Content marketing. For me, social media marketing are picture, which is the marketing strategy. 
the marketing strategy definition refers to the strategic planning and long-term action of any organization with the purpose of achieving defined goals. This strategy can be in bold pull marketing or outbound push marketing. Okay, I read now. Yes. Okay. Okay. Actually, all you had to do was only match the strategies and the definitions of the of them in the next uh, slide. Reading, no, but okay. Now you did it. Excellent. That's good. Okay. In the Susi, the last, the reading, and the next. It's okay. It's like uh -huh, the the. Okay, I read it. I read. Okay. Uh, quickly. Yes. This. For example, uh, letter A. Use free samples, sales coupon, and promotion to boost sales. I think that is uh, maybe number nine. Customer loyalty program. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I agree. Nine letter A. Mm -hmm. Okay. The letter B. Um, letter B is number three. Email marketing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. The letter B, sending text messages with promotion to different emails. Email marketing. Number, email email marketing. marketing, number mm -hmm. three. Okay. Number. Okay, no. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. El, uh, um, From um, in numbers uh, six seven promotion yeah. is use free samples, sales coupons, and promotions to boot sales. Yes, promotion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little A. Uh, letter B. For letter B, I think that it's the number two. Number. No, 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 no. The number three. Email number marketing. Email marketing. <laughs> and then text number, number three. In letter B, yeah. oh no. For the letter B is the number three. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sending text messages with promotions to different emails. Yes, yes, yes. Letter B. Okay. Uh, it's number nine. What? Nine. Letter C. Letter C. Mm -hmm. Letter yes. C. What is the number? Number. Create customers' loyalty programs and patronage reward to increase mm -hmm. customer satisfaction. Satisfaction.
What, the, what is the customer loyalty program? The program of the lealtad para, para los... Why is Liberty number one. B. For me, letter B, letter D. Do you have any sponsor? Number five and number seven. Letter G and what what word? Okay. What? Letter I. Letter I. And number eight. Number eight. Mm -hmm. And number five. Five? Uh-huh. Number five is letter I. The sponsor a mini concert. Yes, I think. Okay. Influences marketing. Ah, influencing marketing is age. No. Number six, letter H. Yes. Why? Number six, letter H. Okay, no social media. It's letter number six, is letter A. Yeah. A on H. A. Okay. In promotion. Okay, my friends, now that you <clears throat> finished discussing this one, I'm going to just give you the answers and you decide which is which. If you have any doubts, you may ask me as I'm putting the, the answers here, okay? Number one, we have, but I'm going to change the color because this color is not so agreeable, you see? Maybe black, I don't have black here, but okay, maybe this is kind of black. Okay. So the first one is letter D, the second is H. Number three is B. 
Number four is F. Number four is I. Number six is E. Number seven is A. Number eight is G. And uh, number nine, C. Okay. Now, do you have any questions? Okay. Why do you say teacher in the content market? Ah, because you have to present podcasts. You have to work with podcasts, uh, infographics, po uh, blog posts, videos, etc. Content. You have to present content. Yeah, probably related to the product because that is part of the propaganda. And in the other one, social media. Why social media? Facebook, Twitter, etc. So that is uh, letter H. Okay, and uh, email marketing is because they get large batches of uh, emails and then send them leaflets, okay, uh, of other type of things like that. Is sending text messages with promotions to different emails. So it's letter B. And in referral marketing is word of mouth. One friend telling another friend about the product. Hey, you know what? I bought this watch and it's wonderful. And it only costs this much. I, why don't you go and buy one? They are on sale right now. So that is referral market. That is uh, number four is letter F. One friend recommends the product to another. <clears throat> they make the reference. Event sponsoring, letter I, because you sponsor a mini concert and advertise here, maybe by sampling. If it's a product that you can give samples of, a drink, something that is eaten and you can give a portion of, that is another way, sponsoring. Influencer marketing. An influencer on YouTube, for example, you get in touch with this influencer. Okay, you work with him and he will help you promote your product. He will make product reviews like Isa Marcial does with telephones, etc. And you can give discount codes so that the people get the codes in set the codes and they get discount. But in, in, the, in that case, you are making promotion to your... And then direct promotions. Promotions, okay. We say letter A, right? Use free samples, sales coupons, or promotions to boost sales. Like they say 30% off, on sale, big sale, okay? So offering refunds. G, uh, offer refunds and rebates to keep, keep customers happy. For example, if a customer refers to other people and they bring um, in three or four people come and buy at your store, you can refund the money of a product this person has bought. That is another type of promotion that happens a lot in the United States. Now, offering refunds, customer loyalty programs. Letter C, create loyalty programs and patronage rewards to increase customer satisfaction. <clears throat> you keep them because they are good customers, a better, a better price, okay? Because you see them buying there very often. What do people do? They have um, a small, uh, something like a coupon and they put a seal. Every time that they buy, they put a seal. When they have 10 seals, they get the other product free, for example. So that is a, another type of promotion. 
This is for customer loyalty programs. Okay, my friend. I told you before that I was going to tell you about what is inbound marketing and outbound marketing, okay? Inbound marketing or pooling marketing is a strategy process that uses pool marketing. Well, say like that. Content marketing, blogs, events, the ones that I mentioned before, and social media to create brand awareness and attract new customers. This process often happens even before the potential customers decide to make a purchase, okay? The first step is to know and connect with the brand to which they will eventually come back to take action. Okay, being a form of a native marketing, our marketing relies a lot on organic leads, making your brands appear more human because the methods used in this type of marketing strategy don't look overly promotional. They are somewhat educational and entertaining. Once your customers discover you through a good informational piece of content, they will instantly trust you more. Like for example, someone that does this is a, a product that is green. I will not say the name because no propaganda, but okay, it's products for health that even Cristiano Ronaldo was promoting them. Okay, and in El Salvador, they were very famous. They are not so famous now, but they were really famous. They were for health care. Okay, now that is pulling. This is pushing. Outbound or push marketing refers to any strategy where a company performs a more traditional form of marketing, such as television, right? or TV commercials, radio ads, print advertisements or sales calls, known as cold calls. This one's the one that they tell you, good morning, uh -huh, I'm calling you from this company. We would like to tell you about our product. This is cold, cold calls. You could say it's more aggressive from form of marketing, which may bring sales on the spot, but it has a lower ROI than inbound marketing. We say like being driven by sales, outbound market doesn't really allow a company to build long-term relationships with customers because they are so aggressive that sometimes the customers really don't accept them. So non-traditional marketing, pull marketing and traditional marketing, push marketing. Okay, now the last one, and uh, this is the purpose. Why, why do we make promotion? And then we'll have a short discussion and with this we'll finish. Promotion keeps the product alive, making it popular and wanted. Without promotion, it's improbable that a product is going to be known by many people and also that sales may go up. If we really want our product to find a place in the market, it's necessary to promote it in many different ways. There are several reasons why promotion is necessary. Here are some. Number one, it builds awareness. People become uh, conscious of the existence of the product. Number two, uh, people become interested. Number three, create product service demand. Okay, People want the product, they become interested they want the product and little by little, this increases. Make them take action. They go into the store and they buy. So this is the reason why promotion is necessary. All right, now, yes, you're going to do the last thing. We're going to do it together. Together like, um, like this. I'm going to read it and then you're going to give your opinion. You have to say if this is true or false. Are these statements true or false? Explain. Number one, promotion is necessary for all products. Yes, it's necessary. True, isn't necessary. It's false. It's false. Mm. That is not necessary for? It's true. Sometimes it's not false. necessary. 
is false. Okay. I will tell you like this, my friend. Some of you will say it's <laughs> false. And some of you will say it's not true. <laughs> but you can say, oh, but it's true. And you're right. Okay. It's like true. Yes, it's true. For me, it's true. <laughs> uh, the thing is that there are products that don't require much publicity. Yes. There are other products that you need to be pushing and pushing and pushing for people to buy. Some products are staple products, basic needs, while others are not. However, even if they are basic needs, they have a brand name. And uh, many people don't know the brand name. So publicity or promotion is necessary even for those, for people to know what brands they should buy, right? That's the reason for promotion. So promotion isn't necessary for all products. The problem is all products, right? So this, the question is a tricky question, okay? Now, promotion, so what we say of this is true. Okay, there are some products that are sold without promotion. Um, but I'm not saying that they don't make promotion. Okay. For example, I buy water. I buy water not because of the promotion, but because of the necessity. Okay. Even if they don't make promotion, I buy it. Okay. You think like a, like a customer, but if you think like a, like a, how do you say like salesman? Como el del negocio? Like a salesman. Because you, you want to more sales and the mass. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. No, but thinking about, okay, the, the thing here is for all products. Yes, promotion is necessary, of course, to increase sales, right? To increase sales. But some products like, Water, for example, they pass by your house. Of course, the people are calling out water, 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 and then you go and you buy. Okay, there isn't much pushing for you to buy because it's necessary. While Coca Cola, they need to be selling it, selling it, selling, it, even though people are addicted to it. Yes, promotion is important only for products that are not really basic. What do you think about this one? Is it true or is it false? False. It's false. false. Yeah, false. this is false. Yes. Some people only buy certain products when they are on sale. Is it true or false? True. true. It's true. It's true. Yes, true. It's, true. Uh, it's because some people, not all the people, uh -huh, some people, yeah, that's true. Regular TV advertisements are boring and useless. Oh. <laughs> boring to us and no. useless oh, okay. to us. But to the companies? No, I see many advertisements on TV. Mm. That are interesting. Yes, they are very attractive. And I say, oh my God, that's good. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> Yes, it's true. So this is false, right? This is false. False, yes. False. Promoting products through email is spamming. Spam true. garbage true. mail. This yes, is it's true. Uh -huh. Okay, promotion through discounts is very effective. It's false. No. It's true. It's true. It's true. Okay. Yeah. We will say... <laughs> it's attractive. It's attractive. It's true. It's true. The best way to promote a product is providing a sample. It's yes, true. it is. It's a, it is. A, it's, it's something. True. It's food. It's food. It's, you take. It's true. You like it and you say, hey, give me. Yes, I like it. 
Huh? Give me two. <laughs> it's the best strategy. Yes. yes. It's a good strategy. Uh -huh. Sampling is not possible with all types of products. It's true. It's, it's true. true. Yeah, it's true. that is true. It's not possible with all types of products. Okay. Because they cannot give you a computer. Oh, I'm going to give you this computer. <laughs> Can you lend me the computer to my help? <laughs> To test the car, if it's <laughs> to test home. the computer at home. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Some products cannot be sold, no matter what you do. Okay. It means doesn't matter how much promotion they uh, they make, let's say, but the products are not sold. What do you think? Is it true or false? I think it's true. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Okay, what about promotion makes companies grow and this affects prices? Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. It's true. Mm. Okay. Promotion makes companies grow and this affects prices. In terms, it affects prices. Okay, excellent. So, this uh, about the products. Okay, my friends, let's see who was present today, who wasn't, okay? But before that, let me see who's going to stay tonight. Okay. Today is the eighth. Uh, Mayra Melanie Guevara will stay, okay? Of course, if she wants. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see who is present, <clears throat> who isn't. Ada Patricia Linares. Present. Excellent. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. Excellent. Anaselmi Cheves. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Present. That's nice. Good. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present. Teacher. Nice. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present. Teacher. Yes, that's nice. Very good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Okay, that's nice. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez. Jose Carlos Sargueta. Present teacher. Excellent. Lourdes Beatriz Ira. Present. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Present teacher. Excellent. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez. Present teacher. Excellent. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Very good. Nice. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ella Beatriz Posada. Present. Excellent. Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez. Present. Yeah. Good night. Nice. Good night. Rosa Elena Salgado. Present. Yes, that's nice. Sal Sandra Gladys Mendez. Didn't come today. Okay. Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Zulma Rosaura Lopez. Present. Nice. Flor de Maria Carvalho. Present. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. He couldn't come right today. Okay. Rene Osvaldo Bonilla. Present teacher. Excellent. That's nice. Eh, Susana Carolina. Present. Excellent. Danny Anthony Siguenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Okay. That means present. Okay. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. José Ignacio Franco. Present, teacher. Excellent. Carla Veronica Vázquez. Okay. Present, teacher. 
Excellent. That's nice. So, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, inbound market, the non-traditional market, and the outbound or pushing market is the traditional market, television, advertising, etc. Okay, so we're going to stop here tonight. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Okay, God bless you all. Take care of yourself. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you Good tomorrow. Night. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Take care, my friends. Good night. 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 Take care. Okay. Let's see. Hello. Good evening, Mayrita. How are you? How can I? Yeah. Very good, teacher, because today I work from home. Oh, you work from home today. So you didn't yes. have to go out. That's wonderful. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Is there any question that you have that I can help you with? Mm, maybe a tip for uh, how, how do I increase my vocabulary in, in English? Oh, okay, sure, no problem. One thing that you can do is uh, lists, okay? Um, for example, this is an idea. Mm -hmm. What I do is I make um, categories, like for example, family, and I put the members of the family, colors, days, month, okay? Or if we're talking about verbs, I classify certain types of verbs, verbs to describe uh, selling. Ver verbs to describe uh, traveling or things like that. So you can classify them and that mm -hmm. is the way. Another thing to improve vocabulary could be uh, making cards, okay? Okay. Some people have on one side of the card, a picture, and mm -hmm. on the other side of the card, the meaning of the word, no translation. Or some people put, the picture on one side and on the other side, they have uh, the meaning of the word. So they have the word, the pronunciation and the, the meaning, right? And maybe an example. In English. In English. Uh -huh. In English, no translation. No translation. In that case, uh, people call them index cards. So they practice with index cards and that helps them improve the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. and, I remember I improved my English by playing with words. I'm going to show you how I played with words. It's not interesting, but um, it's not interesting, but it helps, okay? Or at least it helped me. Wait, let me see. I was going to share the groups. So, um, for example, here, I say, I look at a word like this. For example, I look for thin. And then I thought of a word that things was similar, but it was pine, pine, thin, pine. And words like this, in order to improve, like, uh, for example, I look for words similar to this, like, uh, uh, let me see, thin, thin and fine, thin and fine, or other words like lack and lake, okay? Or back and bake. Okay, so uh, I, I practice the pronunciation because the first one is short, back, and the other one that because finishes in E has a long vowel, bake, bake. lake, mm -hmm. bake, and lack, and back. And this one is thin and fine, thin and pine, or other words that were just one like this, stare versus, sorry, uh, push the, the one that was not. Okay, like this, um, star. 
Oh, change the color. No problem. Let me see. Teacher, what is pin? Oh, okay. For example, you have your hairpin, a bar, a barret, those things that help you get your hair here. Uh -huh. okay. That is a pin. Let me see. Uh -huh. For example, ah. Pino is a type of pin. Mm -hmm. That Gancho Sandino is a type of pin, right? Mm -hmm. That is a pin. Or the baby diapers has a pin too. Mm -hmm. That okay. is pin. And uh, also to, uh, like you say in Spanish, amarrar with someone. Okay, like um, boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay, there is a boy that likes a girl and um, he goes and talks to the girl and asks, would you like to be my girlfriend? And the girl uh -huh. says, sure, why not? Okay, that is what we call pin up. Uh -huh. Pin up, okay, pin up, like enganche, <laughs> pin, up. <laughs> pin up. So I used to work with words like this, star, stare, like in the, for example, for ing, this one you, because it has only consonant, you just say starring, okay, double R, right, starring, but the other one, because you have an E, you drop the E in right ing, so you say staring, staring. Mm -hmm. okay. And there are other words like this. So I started to look for similar words, putting them together. Lack, lake, back, bake, okay? Tack, take, for example, mm -hmm. something. Tack and take. You say, teacher, what is a tack? Mm -hmm. one, one of those things that you put um, on the, how can I say, bulletin board to clip things. Mm. Yes, that would be a tack, thumb tack. Okay. Put him like this, thumb, the name is, complete name, thumb tack. Okay, thumb because you press it with this, with the thumb, right? Press it with mm -hmm. the thumb, so thumb tack. So this is one way of playing with the words without, uh, how can I say, complicating your lives, okay? And there are some words that some people say, we. You think you start thinking in English and you say, okay. and how can you say this in English? For example, you think about the word profundizar. Uy, and how do you say profundizar? I'm going to profundizar in este, in este topico. How can I say that? And then you, you start looking. Ah, and then you discover, you delve. I'm going to delve into this topic. And then little by little, you take notes. You, you take notes, you have the word, the pronunciation, the definition, maybe an example. Okay. And then you, you, you do that constantly. It doesn't have to be like many words every day. If you have five words every day, I guarantee that by the end of the month, you will have a lot by the end of the month. And your vocabulary will be bigger a lot okay bigger. so that is a, a strategy i mean i don't know if if it can be useful to you but that is something that i would do yes okay do, teacher do you have any other question that no, i no teacher no Not only this and i will put them into practice <laughs> these tips okay excellent yes sure that would be really nice okay then okay. Hey, Mayrita, thank you very much for staying. Thank you for talking to you. Um, sometimes, you know, in class, we get misunderstandings and things like that, uh, that may affect communication between teacher and student. If I have caused any of these things, I apologize because uh, no, my idea is always, always to help people and see that they learn the best way possible and uh, try to facilitate things. So for this reason, I have to read a lot, prepare a lot. 
so that you don't have to go through all the process that I go, you just sit down and eat. So uh, some people say, ah, but they give you the information already. No, they give me the topic. I have to investigate, prepare, and yes, maybe you have seen the booklet. You have, you have seen the student's book, right? Mm -hmm. This is all I get. And uh, you know that one page in the student book goes like this. It's not enough for one class. Okay, one page. So for that reason, I have to investigate, prepare. The topics have to be huge. The topics are huge because you studied this at the university for six months. And I have to develop okay. it in two hours. The, the essence of it. So it's a little bit difficult, but I do it with affection. I do it to try to help. I'm not an expert in marketing. I definitely try to investigate, read, and of course, my opinions probably are not the best, but I try to do the best. And the idea is to help you guys so you may learn the best possible, okay? So I apologize if in any way I offended you in any, of the classes because sometimes one says stupid things without knowing, right? So that is not the idea, okay? Okay, right? teacher. I appreciate your help. My pleasure, my friend. Anytime okay. that you have any question, remember, you are always welcome. Ask the question. If I know the answer, I will be very glad to help you, okay? Okay. Yes. All right, I'll let you go so you may do the homework. And I will be see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. See okay. you tomorrow, teacher. Good okay. night. Good night. Be good. Thank <clears throat>